Now, besides the calculations that the pivot table does for you, you can add your own calculations in. So let's say for these numbers, I have to calculate the sales tax. So uh, in, in my state, uh, Pennsylvania, the sales tax is 7%. So notice I'm going to pick on the pivot table, and then I'm going to come up here and pick on options, and then pick on formulas. Right? And we're going to make a, a calculated field. All right, so I'm going to call this one sales tax. All right, now I want to change this uh, formula. I'm going to take the amount, and I just double clicked on the word amount, and I'm going to multiply it by 0 .0, uh, 0 0.07, which of course would be 7%. So uh, I'm going to click on OK. And uh, now I should have the sales tax show up here on my list. So I want to pick up the sales tax and add it to the values area. And notice how I have the, the, the original total field. And then notice over here, we have the sales tax. And it was able to uh, take 7% of this number and, and figure that out for us. So what I did was I picked on formulas. I picked on calculated field. You give your field a name, and then down here you're going to use uh, a formula, and you're going to use the fields that are available in your pivot table. And that's how you can make additional calculations within your pivot table.